Yeah, I mean, the main conversation will happen in the panel and all your paper presentations. And therefore, uh, I will just say a couple of things. Um, I think it's a wonderful time for early childhood education in the country now. Uh, after many, many years of trying to convince people that EC is very important, caring for young children, education of young children is very important, and most people not being convinced, uh, it's done now. Uh, it's wonderful to see after the NEP 2020, uh, the National Curriculum Framework for the Foundational Stage, it's wonderful to see all the conversations going on on EC across the country. Um, and my sense is that we don't have to do the job of convincing people too much anymore. Uh, I think there is a broad understanding of how critical this time is, how important this time is uh, for our children and uh, for our country. The challenge now is actually to make this happen. That is the biggest challenge. I don't think that now the challenge is uh, to convince people anymore. But now it is to actually make this happen. All the things that we are talking about, high quality early childhood education for all our children below the age of six. Um, you all know, all of you work in the field, so you all know exactly how big the challenge is. Uh, this is our challenge, but this is also our opportunity. Uh, and I don't think we have been in a better time to actually do this. Um, so this sem seminar symposium is one step, uh, small step, uh, towards helping to make some of this happen. All the ideas that you have put together over the last three days, uh, last two days and today, we will put it together and uh, publish it, uh, share it with all of you, and hopefully it will be of uh, use uh, to people working in the space. It will be a good platform for sharing of ideas. And we hope to do much, much more of this. Um, so a very warm welcome once again. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, I hope you had a small tour of the campus, all of you who, uh, who came. Um, it would be nice if you would visit us regularly. We are all here. Now you know all of us. It would be very nice to have you here again. Thank you. Uh, I'll stop and the experts will take over. Thank you very much. Thank you, Indu. Thank you, Indu. Thank you, Indu. Thank you, Indu. And all participants have an encouragement. Now, let's talk about our work in the next year. The panel is about Nalku Murnal Murjana Nama Snehitru Bandidare, our own the panel church in Praramba Madonna Yaudu Tada Ildera. So Nanu Murjana panelist Kalana Nano Vedike Ahmana Martini, Shailja Menon Aruna Matrishikesh. Are we good to go? Namaskara. We are going to the panel church. We are going to be here to the first time. We are going to be here to the first time. We are going to be here to the first time. We are going to be here to Kalanam Jate ನಮ್ಮ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಈಗ ಪ್ರಸ್ತುತ ಅವರು ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅರ್ಲಿ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲಿಟರಸಿ ಟಾಟಾ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮುಖ್ಯಸ್ಥರಾಗಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರು ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ಹುಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್
ಇದು ರೌಟ್ಲೆಜ್ ಅವರು ಪಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಮಾಡಿದಂಥ ಒಂದು ಪುಸ್ತಕದ ಕೋ ಎಡಿಟರ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮತ್ತು ಬಹಳ ವರ್ಷಗಳಿಂದ ಅವರು ತುಂಬ ಒಂದು ಮುತುವರ್ಜಿಯಿಂದ ಈ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ಅದರಲ್ಲೂ ಮುಖ್ಯವಾಗಿ ಈ ಟೀಚರ್ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ತೊಡಗಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಬಹಳ ಪ್ಯಾಷನೇಟ್ ಇದಾಗಿ ಅರ್ಲಿ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಮತ್ತು ಲಿಟ್ರೆಸಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರು ದೇಶದ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಭಾಗಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಮತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮ ಬಹಳ ಪ್ರಮುಖವಾದ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಇದೆ ಕಥಾವನ ನೀವೆಲ್ಲ ಕೇಳಿರ್ಬೋದು ಭಾಳಷ್ಟು ಜನ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಭಾಗಿಗಳಾಗಿದ್ದೀರ ಆ ಕಥಾವನದ ಪ್ರಮುಖ ರೂವಾರಿ ಕೂಡ ಶೈಲಜಾ ಅವರು ಆಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಶೈಲಜಾ ನಿಮಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲರ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಹಾಗೆಯೇ ನಮ್ಮ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಅರುಣಾ ಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಅವರಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅರುಣಾ ಜ್ಯೋತಿ ವಿ ಇವರು ಮಲ್ಟಿಗ್ರೇಡ್ ಮತ್ತು ಮಲ್ಟಿ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಅನುಭವ ಭಾಳ ಸಮೃದ್ಧವಾದ ಅನುಭವ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಅನುಭವ ಇರುವಂಥವರು ಮತ್ತು ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಶಾಲೆಯ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಏಜ್ ಗ್ರೂಪಿನ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಶಾಲೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರು ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲರ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೊ ಅದು ಭಾಳ ಪ್ರಮುಖವಾದ ಒಂದು ವಿಷಯ ಮತ್ತು ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ರೀತಿಯ ಕರಿಕ್ಯುಲ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಅನುಭವ ಇರುವಂಥವರು ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಪಾಠ ಮಾಡಿದಂಥವ್ರು ಮತ್ತು ಅದನ್ನು ಆಳವಾಗಿ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂಡಂಥವ್ರು ನಮ್ಮದೇ ಅಜೀಮ್ ಪ್ರೇಮ್ಜಿ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಭಾಳಷ್ಟು ಜನಕ್ಕೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿದೆ ಅದು ನಮ್ಮ ಏನು ಆಲೋಚನೆಗಳಿದೆ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಮಟ್ಟಿನ ಆಲೋಚನೆಗಳನ್ನು ನಾವು ನಾವೇ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿ ಹೇಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ನೋಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಇರುವಂಥ ಒಂದು ಮಾಡೆಲ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಸ್ ಥರ ಇರುವಂಥದ್ದು ಆ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಸಿನ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭದ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಇದ್ದಂಥ ಒಂದು ತಂಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಅರುಣಾ ಜ್ಯೋತಿಯವರು ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಈಗ ನಮ್ಮ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಇ ಸಿ ಇ ಪಾಲಿಸೀಸ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತು ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸಸ್ ಮತ್ತು ಕರಿಕ್ಯುಲಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪೆಡಗಾಜಿ ಈ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಅವರು ಟೀಚ ಟೀಚ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಮತ್ತು ಒಂದು ಎಮ್ ಎ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ಗೆ ಟೀಚರ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನಲ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ನ ಕೋರ್ಸನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಅವರು ಟೀಚ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅರುಣ ನಿಮಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ರಿಷಿಕೇಶ್ ತುಂಬ ಪರಿಚಿತವಾದ ಮುಖ ನಮ್ಮ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಮತ್ತು ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಭಾಗಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರು ನಮ್ಮ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಜುಕೇಷನಲ್ಲಿ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಭಾಳ ವರ್ಷಗಳಿಂದ ನಮ್ಮ ಅಜೀಮ್ ಪ್ರೇಮ್ಜಿ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನಿನ ಭಾಳಷ್ಟು ಪ್ರಮುಖ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರು ಮೊದಲಿಂದ ಭಾಗಿಯಾಗಿದ್ದಂಥವರು ಎಮ್ ಎ ಎಜುಕೇಷನಲ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮಲ್ಲಿ ಹಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಆಫ್ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಮತ್ತು ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಅಸೆಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಈ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಅವರು ಟೀಚ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಭಾಳ ಪ್ರಮುಖವಾಗಿ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನಿನ ಒಂದು ಪಾಲಿಸಿ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಏನಿದೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದಲ್ಲಿರ್ಬೋದು ಮತ್ತು ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ಮಟ್ಟದಲ್ಲಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅದನ್ನು ರೂಪಿಸೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಆ ಪಾಲಿಸಿ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲೇಷನ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಋಷಿಯವರು ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮತ್ತು ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಸಮಿತಿಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಮಟ್ಟದಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದು ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ಗೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟಿರೋದಿರ್ಬೋದು ಹೈಯರ್ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ಗೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟಿರೋದಿರ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಈ ಈ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಅನುಭವ ಇರುವಂಥವರು ಸುಮಾರು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ವರ್ಷಗಳ ಕಾಲ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಪಾಲಿಸಿ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಈ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿ ಅನುಭವ ಇರುವಂಥವರು ನಮ್ಮ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಸ್ತುತ ಏನು ಪಾಲಿಸಿ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಸಕ್ರಿಯವಾಗಿ ಅವರು ತೊಡಗಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ರಿಷಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಸೊ ಚರ್ಚೆಯನ್ನು ಬಹುಶಃ ರಿಷಿ ನಿಮ್ಮಿಂದನೇ ನಾನು ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಇಂದು ಅವರು ಈಗ ತಾನೇ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಇದು ಭಾಳ ಸೂಕ್ತವಾದ ಕಾಲ ಇ ಸಿ ಸಿಗೆ ಅಂತ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಕಳೆದ ಒಂದು ದಶಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂತೂ ಇ ಸಿ ಸಿ ಡಿಕೇಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಇ ಸಿ ಸಿ ಅಂತಲೇ ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಅದನ್ನು ಬಹುಶಃ ನೀವು ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದಂತ ಕಾಣ್ತದೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಅದನ್ನು ಬಿಡಿಸಿ ಯಾಕೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಡಿಕೇಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಇ ಸಿ ಸಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರ
ಬಟ್ ಇಂದುವರಾಗಲೇ ಬೆಳಗ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳಿದ ಹಾಗೆ ಈ ಒಂದು ದಶಕ ಏನಿದೆ ಇದು ನಾವು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡುವಂಥ ದಶಕ ಯಾಕೆಂದರೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಹಲವಾರು ಅಂಶಗಳು ಏನು ತಿಳಿದಿತ್ತು ಅದನ್ನು ರಿಯಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸ್ಪಷ್ಟಗೊಳಿಸಿ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ನಂಬಿಕೆ ತರಿಸಿ ಮಾತುಗಳಲ್ಲದೆ ನೀತಿಗಳು ಕೂಡ ಆ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲೇ ಬೆಳ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬಂದಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಈಗ ನಾವು ಈ ಮುಂದಿನ ದಶಕನ ಇ ಸಿ ದಶಕ ಅಂತ ಕರಿಬೋದು ಅಂತ ಅನಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಇ ಸಿ ಮೇಲೆ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡೋದು ಭಾಳಷ್ಟಿದೆ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಹಿನ್ನೆಲೆ ಹಿಂದೆ ಆಗಿರೋ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಡಿಕೇಡ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಡೆದಿರೋವಂಥ ಕೆಲಸ ಭಾಳ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ನಿಮಗೆ ನ್ಯಾಪ್ಕ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಹದಿಮೂರಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಮೊದಲನೇ ಇ ಸಿ ಪಾಲಿಸಿ ಬಂತು ಅದಾದ ಮೇಲೆ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಹದಿನಾಲ್ಕರಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಸಿದು ಒಂದು ಫ್ರೇಮ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಕೂಡ ಬಂತು ವಿಮೆನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದ ವಿಮೆನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದ ಮತ್ತು ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಹದಿನೆಂಟರಲ್ಲಿ ಎನ್ ಸಿ ಆರ್ ಟಿ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದನೂ ಕೂಡ ಒಂದು ನೀತಿ ಬಂತು ಅದಾದ ಮೇಲೆ ನಮಗೆ ಎನ್ ಇ ಪಿ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿದೆ ಎನ್ ಇ ಪಿಲಿ ಇ ಸಿ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಭಾಳಷ್ಟು ಸ್ಪಷ್ಟವಾಗಿ ಎಂಫಿಸೈಸ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಸೊ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಹತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ನಾವು ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ಹಿಂದೆ ಆಗಿರೋದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹಲವಾರು ನೀತಿಗಳು ಬಂದಿದೆ ಭಾಳಷ್ಟು ಮಾತಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಒಂದು ರೀತಿಯ ತಯಾರು ಕೂಡ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಬೆಂಬಲ ನೀಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಸೊ ಈಗ ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿದ ನಂತರ ನಮಗೆ ಇನ್ನು ಮುಂದಿನ ಹತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ನಾವು ಇದು ಮಾಡೋದು ಭಾಳ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆ ಸೊ ಆ ರೀತಿ ಆ ಒಂದು ಹಿನ್ನೆಲೆಯಿಂದ ಇದು ಇ ಸಿಯ ದಶಕ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಬಟ್ ಈ ಬರೀ ಹತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ನಡೆದಿರೋ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅದ್ರ ಹಿಂದೆ ಹತ್ತು ಹದಿನೈದು ವರ್ಷ ಭಾಳಷ್ಟು ಸಂಶೋಧನೆಗಳು ನಡೀತು ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ಲಿ ನ್ಯೂರೋ ಸೈನ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಸಂಶೋಧನೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಕಂಡು ಬಂದಿದ್ದು ಏನು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಮೆದುಳಿನ ಬೆಳವಣಿಗೆ ಅದು ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ಬೇಗ ಶುರು ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ತಾಯಿನ ಹೊಟ್ಟೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಇರಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿನ ಮೆದುಳಿನ ಬೆಳವಣಿಗೆ ಶುರು ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತು ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಹುಟ್ಟಾದ ನಂತರ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಎಂಟರಿಂದ ಹತ್ತು ವಯಸ್ಸವರೆಗೂ ಬಹಳ ವೇಗವಾಗಿ ಆ ಬೆಳವಣಿಗೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಆ ಸಮಯದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ರೀತಿಯ ಪ್ರೋತ್ಸಾಹ ನೀಡಿದರೆ ಆ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಮೆದುಳಿನ ಒಂದು ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ ಅದು ಭಾಳ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ನ್ಯೂರೋ ಸೈನ್ಸಿನ ಒಂದು ಇದು ಇದು ಒಂದು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ಮೂವತ್ತು ವರ್ಷದಿಂದ ಕೇಳಿ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ಇನ್ನು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಒಂದು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ವರ್ಷದಿಂದ ಕೇಳಿರುವಂಥದ್ದು ಸೊ ಇದ್ರ ಮೂಲಕ ನಮಗೆ ನೀತಿಗಳು ಬಂದವು ಹಿಂದಿನ ಹತ್ತು ವರ್ಷದಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ಹಿನ್ನೆಲೆಯಾಗಿ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಈಗ ನಮಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇದೆ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಮತ್ತು ನಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಈ ಒಂದು ವಿಭಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡೋರು ಸೊ ಈ ಮುಂದಿನ ಹತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ತೊಡಗಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿನ ಭವಿಷ್ಯಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಭಾಳ ಒಂದು ಸಹಕಾರ ನೀಡಿದಂಗೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಭಾವಿಸ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಎನ್ ಇ ಪಿಲು ಕೂಡ ಇದೇ ಹೇಳಿರೋದು ಎನ್ ಇ ಪಿಲು ಈ ಒಂದು ಹಿನ್ನೆಲೆ ನೀಡಿ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಯಾಕೆ ನಾವು ಇ ಸಿ ಮೇಲೆ ಇಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಒತ್ತಡ ನೀಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಎಂಫಸಿಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಮತ್ತು ಹೇಗೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋದರೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿನ ಬೆಳವಣಿಗೆಗೆ ಉಪಯೋಗ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಎನ್ ಇ ಪಿಲಿ ಸ್ಪಷ್ಟವಾಗಿ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನೀವು ಎನ್ ಇ ಪಿ ಓದಿ ಎನ್ ಇ ಪಿ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಕರಿಕ್ಯುಲಮ್ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಏನು ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಓದೋದು ಬಹಳ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಹಲವಾರು ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಜೊತೆ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೀ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಹೊಸದೇನಲ್ಲ ಭಾಳಷ್ಟು ವರ್ಷದಿಂದ ಪ್ರೀ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಇದೆ ಆದರೆ ಒಂದು ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬಂದಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಈಗ ಹೊಸದಾಗಿ ನ್ಯೂರೋ ಸೈನ್ಸಿನ ಮತ್ತು ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಸೈಕಾಲಜಿ ಮತ್ತು ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಈ ಡೊಮೈನ್ಸ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಹೊಸದ ವಿಷಯಗಳು ಬಂದಿದೆ ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಒಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ತಂದು ನಾವು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಜೊತೆ ವರ್ತಿಸಬೇಕು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಅವ್ರ ಬೆಳವಣಿಗೆಗೆ ಸಪೋರ
ನಾವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನಲ್ಸ್ ಇವಾಗ ಹೇಗೆ ಒಂದು ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಕೂಡ ಒಬ್ಬರು ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನಲ್ಲು ಮತ್ತು ನರ್ಸು ಕೂಡ ಹೌದು ಹಾಗೆ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಇರೋರೆಲ್ಲ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನಲ್ಸ್ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ನಾವು ಶಿಕ್ಷಕ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕರೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಯಾವುದೇ ಹಂತದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ನಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನಲ್ಸು ಆ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಏನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಏನು ಅನ್ನೋದು ಕೂಡ ನಮ್ಗೊಂದು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಏನು ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಸ್ಪಷ್ಟವಾಗಿ ಕಂಡು ಬಂದಿದೆ ಸೊ ಈ ಒಂದು ಬ್ರಾಡಾಗಿ ಈ ಹೈಲೈಟ್ಸು ಏನಿದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಇನ್ನೂ ಆಳವಾಗಿ ಎನ್ ಇ ಪಿ ಮತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮ ಎನ್ ಸಿ ಎ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜಲ್ಲಿ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಬೋದು ಸೊ ಇದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಇನ್ನೂ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಿ ಮುಂದೆ ಚರ್ಚೆ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು I just wanted to ask you to summarize in English because there are people from uh, Puducherry and just a gist of it. Yeah, sorry, I completely missed that. I thought I will go bilingual, but then, you know, it uh, becomes difficult. Sometimes you just get into one language. Uh, so what I was uh, saying is that over the last 10 years, the kind of work that has happened, that is really what has got us to the stage where we today have a ECE seminar. because we got different policies we got people who were uh, you know uh, trying to talk about it at various stages so that kind of gave us a stage but it was not just the last 10 years it was also what happened before that for let's say 10 15 years on neuroscience and the researches that happened which showed us that brain development happens very early in a human being rather probably in all living beings but uh, in a human being the pace at which the brain develops at the early years is very very rapid and that is the reason why working with children in a certain way is very important in that early phase and that is what nep and ncf is bringing to us so nep and ncf we will have to look at it together and uh, in nep we get the broad guidelines in ncf we we get as to how to go about it and i think we have these two documents uh, uh, together of course hundreds of pages but that is really where we have all the details and i think now the next decade hence it is very important for ec because all the foundation has been laid for the foundation stage in that sense right so now we have all the tools that we require we have all the support that we require we know we've convinced everybody as indu was saying now there is no debate whether it is important or not it's it's completely accepted and there is a consensus so now with that backing we have to do what is really required so that the children who are going to benefit from this would uh, have a wonderful foundation to go on learning in their lives thank you thank you rishi uh, aruna this question is for you uh, normally it is said working with young kids young children is very easy uh, so you have been a teacher for uh, many years many decades now and uh, you are also preparing teachers who will work with uh, children so my question to you is why is this formal teacher education program teacher professional development uh, important for teachers ellarigo namaskara tamil pesum makkalukku ennudaiya vanakkam telugu prekshakulukku telugu prekshakulukku na namaskaram so this is the excitement of working with children you know being able to connect with them in the language that we know right and uh, the excitement you see the moment i said uh, somebody waving you know uh, in schools young and especially early thinking that you will be able to speak to them understand them uh and be able to you know understand the background from which they come all that uh but you know take this first thing of uh, how we feel uh, teaching ec teaching in ec is easy so we need to first think where is this idea coming from why do we think that way you know what is the notion that we come with uh, to teach young children uh so when you think of it i feel um we feel okay i've been to school i know a b c d i know 1 2 3 what more is there to teach children no 
So therefore, we feel, okay, I will take up this. I will join. <laughs> I can see many people nodding their heads. Yeah. So we feel that, you know, it's one, two, three, I will teach. And A, B, C, D, I will teach. And it's over. There is nothing more really for children. You know, but actually, it's interesting as you, I'm sure that after becoming a teacher and after being through some professional development programs and after being into workshops, attending seminars, whatever, and with your interactions with many others, you must have realized now that it's not so easy, right? So it really takes a lot of work. So, and it's precisely, exactly, ye Karna Kostra ne actually teacher development program beko to address the kind of notion that we all have, to address the kind of thinking with which we enter this EC area. Who are these children? What do they need? Is it only about one, two, three and A, B, right? Or is there anything? So then the point is, who are these children? What do they come into this world thinking? What is their kind of thinking? Actually, if you look at young children, if you observe them carefully, they are so curious. They want to learn so much. You know, they want to explore. They want to touch, feel, understand what is happening. It's like, you know, just getting to know the world. Uh, how much can we really go back to our own childhood to be able to recall how curious, how interested, how motivated were we? Right? So are we able to actually tap into all these things while we are working with children? So what does it mean for a teacher to be curious? What does it mean for a teacher to be motivated? What does it mean for a teacher to be interested? Right? So for example, I'll tell you, when I was teaching young children, uh, and it was a huge 350-acre campus teaching, uh, the another kind of plant life animal, honestly, you know, I didn't know about all those insects and other things that were there or even plants. And many of these children were on campus and they knew quite a lot because some of them were even born there, right? So they knew quite a lot. So I said, okay, fine, let's explore together because I couldn't have entered studying everything then, learning everything and then going with the idea of, I know I will teach you, right? So I, didn't, I said, it's okay. Let me explore along with the children. And I genuinely wanted to also know because I was new to the campus. I wanted to know more. So it meant a lot. Until today, I remember that, you know, there is this, uh, I don't know what you call it in uh, Kannada or Tamil, millipede, do you know? With uh, uh, red ones, black ones, with, yeah, there is a nice rhyme we teach children with it. Said a thousand legged worm. Uh, you know, <laughs> so have you found a leg of mine? We teach all that song. So we realize there is one ball-like insect, you know, it is only this much, but completely curled into a ball. And uh, we were wondering what it is. So children said, it's millipede, millipede. And to me, in my idea, millipede was this long one, red color one, or the black one, you know. Then we went and did our search. We were, and in those days, we didn't have much of this Googling kind of thing. So we went to the library, took out the books, investigated, and then we realized, uh, we found out that it's called pill millipede, P-I-L-L, -L, pill millipede. So that was, a, I mean, it has stayed with me till today, and I've been looking for it, you know, pill millipede, and I haven't found it till now. So I'm saying where they stay, what you find, I'm saying this kind of learning process, what does it mean? We talk about a whole lot of things, you know, children are curious, children are interested, they are motivated and, you know, children uh, are, uh, uh, they want to explore, they want to experiment. But what does it actually mean for an adult where we have, hopefully some of us have retained, but many of us lose it over the years, right? So what does it mean actually to go back? to yourself, into yourself, to tap yourself into this, find out the child in yourself, to be able to work with children of this age group and be able to, you know, make them understand all these things. So in that sense, I would say we are actually re-examining who a child is, who is that child in me, what is the notion with which I have entered this field. Therefore, how do I develop myself as a professional because professional means, what does a professional mean? You know, we need to have a shared uh, kind of knowledge. We'll have to have some ethics, right? So these are the things. So how do I develop myself as a professional? This is exactly for this reason that I strongly feel that 
you know, we need to develop ourselves uh, through all these teacher development programs to work in this area. Because there is also another notion, right? Um, many people feel, uh, oh, she's a very good mother. And I'm sure she'll be a very good teacher. Maybe, maybe not. It's debatable, right? Uh, but the reason I'm telling you is that uh, once we invited one of the uh, person who runs a very well-known private preschool in uh, Bangalore, we called her for uh, to interact with my students in the MA education course. So, Avaga, our head there. That uh, no, no, we don't take qualified people. We don't really worry much about it. We take good mothers. So then, uh, students were also surprised. They asked, "How do you say?" Because we are reading all this. How do you say? So then she went on to say, "No, we have our own development programs for our teachers." Now you see how it is. So it's not that it is wrong to take or right to take or whatever, but what exactly you want? Because it also goes back to what, uh, you know, Shipra uh, Suneja talked about it on the first day in the panel on developing a curriculum in uh, Nagaland, completely contextual based curriculum, right? So at that point, she was also saying, uh, what does it mean actually for a teacher to understand the context of the place that you come from and the context of the child also. So in that sense also, professional development for this age group, as teachers of ECE, right, we need to know what is the curriculum actually I'm teaching? What is the requirement of this curriculum? How do I teach it? Why should I teach that way? Because teachers come definitely, we truly believe that teachers are experienced, they come with the knowledge. Yeah, definitely you know one, two, three. Definitely you know ABCD. There's no doubt about that. But then how do you deliver it? Right? That also we learn from you know all the workshops that we attend, training programs, we call it, whatever. Lots of strategies, lots of ideas are given. E activity madi, a activity madi, e tara madi, a tara madi. So we will learn how to do it also. But then why should we do? Why is it that you know this kind of practice is required? This kind of pedagogy is required? Uh, why does it uh, cater to this kind of a child? Why it doesn't cater to that kind? What is the age group of this child? Why do I need to teach it this way? So this whole aspect of why, developing the perspectives on how to teach and what to teach, and why are you teaching that way? I think that is what is meant as uh, the uh, topmost need for professional development, but uh, most of the time, when there is gyan and uh, when there is uh, you know this perspective building, we all get bored in the training sessions, right? But I think uh, that is what is very very important, uh, and therefore I feel that uh, for this particular age group, because children come in very curious, and lots of habits of the mind develop at this age, you know. Uh, so I'll just give you an example. I have a, a small baby uh, living upstairs. She has started going to school. She used to come to our house. Okay, I'll just say this and I'll send. So um, she started coming into our life from the time she was 10 months. Now the thing is, uh, none of us at home, my daughter, my husband, myself, we don't know, we are not so fluent in Kannada. And to talk to the child, we naturally spoke in English. So the child is so proficient with English now. Okay? And she has started going to school. So now parents, her grandfather, everybody thanks is saying, you've taught child English. We didn't teach her. We didn't teach her English. It's just that, you know, it's our fault, actually, I would say, that we didn't know Kannada. And we spoke only in English. And so much of, you know, all three of us love children. And we were engaging with the child so much. The child picked up English very well. And uh, the time had come for her to start going to school. They put her in a very... Uh, very close by, hardly five minutes walk from the house, one private preschool she is going to. Third day, exactly third day, the child came and said, I don't want school. It is, I mean, I'm making, I'm documenting this child's, uh, you know, how she's growing, what has happened. So it's very interesting to see why she would say on the third day, right? that she didn't want. And in two weeks time, 10th or 12th day, she got up in the afternoon from her sleep crying, no classroom, Amma. I don't want classroom. I don't want classroom. She got up from her sleep, afternoon nap, and she started crying. You know, so the reason I'm sharing this is to say that what does it mean actually to help such children? 
to tap into their curiosity, to keep their interest alive. So I think we all need to be able to become a child to understand a child. And for that, I think this perspective building for uh, people who are working in this age group is very important. Therefore, the need for professional development for AC teachers. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. ಪ್ರಮುಖವಾದ ಅಂಶಗಳನ್ನು ಅವರು ಹೇಳಿದರು ಇದು ಯಾತಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ನಾವು ಈ ಹಂತದ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಆರಂಭಿಕ ಹಂತದ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಟೀಚರ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನಲ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಪ್ರಮುಖವಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಭಾಳ ಸರಳ ವಿಷಯಗಳನ್ನು ನಾವು ಹೇಳೋದು ತಾಯಿಯ ಹೃದಯ ಇರಬೇಕು ಮತ್ತು ಒನ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಎ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಕಲಿಸಿದರೆ ಸಾಕು ಅನ್ನುವಂಥ ಒಂದು ಮೈಂಡ್ಸೆಟ್ಟಿಂದ ನಾವು ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಬಂದು ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಮಗು ಅಂದರೆ ಏನು ಅದರ ಹಿನ್ನೆಲೆ ಏನು ಮತ್ತು ಟೀಚರ್ ಆದವರು ನನ್ನ ಹಿನ್ನೆಲೆ ಏನು ನಾನು ಎಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಇದು ಯಾಕಿದೆ ಈ ಕರಿಕ್ಯುಲಮ್ ಯಾಕಿದೆ ಈ ಇದನ್ನು ಹೀಗೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಪಾಠ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಈ ಕರಿಕ್ಯುಲಮ್ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ನನ್ನ ಅನುಭವಗಳನ್ನು ನಾನು ಮಗುವಿನೊಂದಿಗೆ ನಾನು ಕಲೀಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಇದೆಯಾ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಉದಾಹರಣೆಗಳನ್ನು ಕೊಟ್ಟರು ಮಗುವಿನಿಂದನೇ ಅವ್ರದೇ ಉದಾಹರಣೆ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಶಾಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮಗುವಿನಿಂದಲೇ ಕಲೀಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟಿದೆ ಮಗು ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ವಿಷಯಗಳನ್ನು ನಮಗಿಂತ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿಗೆ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂಡಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಆದರೆ ಅದು ಪರವಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಏನು ಆ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಇರುವಂಥದ್ದು ಏನು ತುಂಬ ತೊಂದರೆ ಇರುವಂಥದ್ದಲ್ಲ ಹಾಗೆ ಕಲಿತಾನೇ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕರು ಬೆಳೆಯುವಂಥದ್ದು ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನು ಭಾಳ ಪ್ರಮುಖವಾದ ಒಂದು ಅಂಶವನ್ನು ಹೇಳಿದರು ಮತ್ತು ಹಾಗೆಯೇ ಈ ರೀತಿಯ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನಲ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ಸ್ನಿಂದ ನಮ್ಮ ಒಂದು ಪರ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಏನು ಬೆಳೆಯುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ನಮಗೆ ಆಸಕ್ತಿದಾಯಕ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಅನಿಸಿದರೂ ಕೂಡ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ತೊಡಗಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಏನೋ ಒಂದು ಒಳನೋಟಗಳು ಬರ್ತವೆ ಮತ್ತು ಈ ರೀತಿಯ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸು ಸೆಮಿನಾರ್ಸು ಇದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಅಟೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಬೇರೆಯವರಿಂದ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ತಿಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಅವಕಾಶಗಳಿರ್ತವೆ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಇದು ಒಂದು ಬಹುಶಃ ಒಂದು ದೊಡ್ಡ ಪಯಣ ಆ ಪಯಣದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ತೊಡಗಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕಷ್ಟೆ ಇರಬೇಕು ಇದ್ದು ಮತ್ತು ಈ ಒಂದು ಎಷ್ಟೊಂದು ವಿಷಯ ನನಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿದೆ ಎಷ್ಟೊಂದು ವಿಷಯ ನನಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಗೊತ್ತಿರೋದನ್ನು ಮರು ಬದಲಾವಣೆ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾ ನಾನು ಮುನ್ನಡೀತಾ ಮಗುವಿನ ಮಗುವನ್ನು ಶೋಧಿಸ್ತಾ ಸೊ ಆ ಮಗುತನವನ್ನು ನನ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಉಳಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾ ನಾನು ಹಾಗೆ ಬೆಳೀತಾ ಹೋದರೆ ಬಹುಶಃ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಏನು ಪೂರ್ವಗ್ರಹಗಳಿದೆ ಅದರಿಂದ ಅದರಿಂದ ಹೊರ ಹೊರ ಬರ್ತಾ ನಾನು ಕಲಿತಾ ಬೆಳೀತಾ ಹೋಗ್ಬೋದು ಅನ್ನುವಂಥದ್ದು ಭಾಳ ಪ್ರಮುಖವಾದ ಅಂಶಗಳನ್ನು ಅವರು ಹೇಳಿದರು ಮತ್ತು ಯಾಕೆ ಆ ಮಗು ಆ ಹಂತದಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಬೆಳವಣಿಗೆ ಆಗಿರ್ತದೆ ನ್ಯೂರೋ ಸೈನ್ಸಸ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ರಿಷಿ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಅರುಣ ಅವರು ಅವರ ಅಭ್ಯಾಸಗಳು ಹೇಗೆ ಬೆಳೀತದೆ ಅಂತ ಮಗುವಿನ ಅದರ ಮೇಲೆ ಬೆಳಕನ್ನು ಹಚ್ಚಲು ಸೊ ಎಲ್ಲ ದೃಷ್ಟಿಗಳಿಂದ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನಲ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಈ ಹಂತಕ್ಕೆ ಭಾಳ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಅನ್ನುವಂಥ ಭಾಳ ಪ್ರಮುಖವಾದ ಅಂಶ ಹೇಳಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಅವರು ಶೈಲಜ ನಾವು ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಯು ಸೊ ಯು ಆರ್ ಬೀನ್ ಎನ್ ಅಡ್ವೊಕೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ರಿಚಿಂಗ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲಿಟ್ರಸಿ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಶೋಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಕೀ ಏರಿಯಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ವರ್ಕ್ ಆನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಫಿಷಿಯಂಟ್ ರೀಡರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೈಟರ್ಸ್ so could you help us understand what is the need to change uh, in the teaching practices for language and literacy uh, when it comes to this uh, early scenario and uh, what should we do now that we have to get into action what are some of the things that we need to get into and do actually ellavarge namaskara nanage kannada ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಗೊತ್ತು ಆದರೆ ಮಾತಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾನು ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಮಾತಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಸೊ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಮಂಜುನಾಥ್ ವಿಲ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಇನ್ ಅರ್ಲಿ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ಹುಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಇಂದು ಸೆಡ್
And one of the areas that I feel that we should start by talking and building understanding together is about what we mean by early language and literacy uh, curriculum or pedagogy or instruction. What do we mean by literacy? So everybody says, yeah, we have to strengthen foundational literacy. But when you say strengthen foundational literacy, when he says strengthen foundational literacy, when I say strengthen foundational literacy, are we talking about the same thing? Are we talking about the same thing? Maybe some per people are thinking that literacy means to teach children akshara gyan. So then if I feel that that is literacy, then I will start by giving children aksharas to read. From the aksharas, I will teach them. What will I teach them from the aksharas? Words. Somewhere after teaching some aksharas, some words, I will maybe put gunitas, I may put vatta aksharas. Uh, then I will start telling them to read some simple sentence. Then I'll give them small passage. Then I'll give them longer passage. Maybe that is what some people are thinking is the work of foundational literacy. Uh, so if you think that way, and many teachers, many people working with young children think that this is foundational literacy, then you will give them as many, I mean, whichever words uh, are easy to read. So for example, in many years ago, when I was looking at the Karnataka, the Nalikali curriculum, I found words like, uh, I mean, I found uh, words like salaga for ane. Huh? I found little, little sentences like, uh, phrases like, Arasada dasara, arasada dasara, and uh, uh, garagasada garagara. Huh? Am I right? Am I right? And this is what the young child coming into first standard is reading for six, eight months because you have not yet put gunitas in. Uh, uh, correct, na? Yeah. So you get these kind of words, and you're thinking which child in today's world wants to hear, okay, in Mysuru, Arasada Dasara may make sense. Sitting in Yadgir, what sense does it make? And now you have taught them uh, Salaga, you have taught them Arasada Dasara, and you have taught them gara, uh, gara, uh, gara, gara. Garagasada Garagara. Now you have to make a story out of it. So now, <laughs> now you put all of this, and you have a Tusker elephant. Uh, uh, for those of you who don't understand uh, 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 Kannada, Salaga is Tusker, Ane is elephant. So you have a Tusker, you have a King's Dasara, and then you have uh, the carpenter's saw going garagara. <laughs> okay, the, the saw going garagara. Now, this thing, now let's make passage out of this. You can imagine the passage. <laughs> so <laughs> the king comes on the Salaga for Dasara. And on the street somewhere is the garas. <laughs> These kind of story passages we are giving children to read and we are saying we are doing a very good job with foundational literacy. What is wrong with this thing? So that is one kind of understanding of foundational literacy. And that is still very, very common in this country across, not Karnataka, everywhere. I'm not, I'm saying anywhere you go, you'll find this understanding. Then, uh, you have now uh, NGOs and more progressive, more liberal people saying, no, 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 this is not the work of foundational literacy. The work of foundational literacy is teach children to read with understanding. Read with understanding. That means if I am read and he's understanding, then read with understanding. That means you can also read without understanding, right? So here is read and here is understanding. We are going hand in hand together. <laughs> and you can potentially think of reading without understanding. Otherwise, you would not need to say that, right? Is understanding a part of reading or it is not? It's something we have to add on to reading. Here's reading, we have put understanding on top of it. And now we have got reading with understanding. Now, what does it mean to read with understanding? Hmm? Suppose I give you, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is from Rajasthan. I hope you can read a little bit of Hindi because again we have taken out all the matras because we are teaching from akshara then word. So this is one of their uh, phrases. Ab man ghar chal. <laughs> Do you understand this? <laughs> Do you understand this? What does it mean to understand? What does it mean to understand? I mean, I think we can understand if we know a bit of Hindi that the man is going to its home. <laughs> but what sense does it make? 
This is real, real thing. I'm not making up any of these examples. This is what little six-year-olds are reading. Ab man ghar chal. Okay, so this is also reading with understanding. This kind of understanding of understanding is very problematic. So today if I give you a, a sentence which says, um, it is fun to walk barefoot uh, on a hot tin roof in the middle of a summer afternoon. Suppose I give you a very long sentence like this. Maybe you can understand this. But when you understand it, and I ask you, what did you understand? What response do I want from the child? Do you want the child to say, it is very fun to walk barefoot on a hot tin roof on a summer afternoon? Or do you want the child to say, what is going on here? It, it is not you know, uh, relating to my experience. I think this is wrong. Which kind of understanding are we looking for? So understanding is not one thing. We have to be clear what we mean by understanding. So we have to understand understanding, make friends with it, unite it with reading, so that we are not going to be talking about reading without understanding, and we're saying what kind of understanding do we want to create in the classroom? Based on that, we would create our text, our curriculum, our pedagogy. So basically, you want children to relate it to their experience, and you want them to be able to bring some opinions from that experience to this text. That is sense making. So you want a response from them. Even young children can tell you, ha, 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 this is not right. You know, critical uh, literacy is not something for 11th grade children. Critical literacy can happen with young children. You tell them something that is absurd. They will tell you it's absurd. So that kind of capability even young children have. So these. Uh, ideas. So this uh, idea of reading with understanding is also, I would say, a bit limited in the way in which I am seeing it implemented. So if we can go to the next slide. Um, the NCF 2022 uh, says that uh, the purpose of education system is to develop good human beings capable of rational thought and action, possessing compassion, empathy, courage, Resilience, scientific temper, creative imagination, ethical mooring, engage, productive, so many words. My question is if this is the aim of education, the aim of education doesn't have a separate class. Okay, children, take out books, aims of education class. There is no aims of education class. Aims of education are realized in the language class, in the math class, in and through the science class, the EVS class, etc. So in each of these areas, we should be able to address this broad aim. So how do we create an understanding of foundational literacy that addresses these aims? That is the question that I want us as a field, uh, even early childhood, to think about. Next slide, please. Um, so the language educators, many of the language educators about six, seven years ago got together over a couple of years and put together these aims of early, this by the way came out of early childhood, the Center for Early Childhood uh, Education Development, Ambedkar University. So early childhood educators have put together these aims of language education, which I want us all to keep in mind as we work in this domain. One is to create relevance, like ab man ghar chal. It is not relevant to the child's life. It's useless piece of information for them and it doesn't make any sense. So if we are going to use language classroom, how do we make language education relevant to the child's life at that age, meeting the child where she or he is at that point? Then they will not be crying saying, classroom beda, classroom beda. <laughs> they won't be saying that. So when, when it is relevant, children are engaged. And here you see the word engagement, it, is, it relates to the broader aim. So they are engaged, they are, they are sort of, uh, I mean, it's not motivated as much as engaged. They are with what you are teaching them. It's interesting to them, it's relevant to them. And you talk to them in a variety of languages so that they are multilingual. You teach them multiple languages because they're coming from very diverse home backgrounds. And just talking to them in one language or teaching them one language is also not utilizing their brain's potential and it is not use, utilizing their cultural potential either. And it's not making them feel emotionally comfortable and happy also in your classroom. So we also want to create happiness and emotional comfort and all of that. 
uh, then, of course, we must teach them to understand language, all the different ways, understand a poem, understand a story. So understanding is not one thing. Different forms of language uh, ask children to exert themselves in different ways. Yes, we have to teach them the script, but the script is one part of this entire exercise. We want them to have a sense of aesthetic engagement, saundaryatmak in Hindi. What do you call it in Kannada? Let me guess, saundaryatmak. Yes, I got it. So, saundaryatmak engagement. Language is beautiful. When we hear a beautiful poem, we hear a beautiful story. It's beautiful. So, with young children, you can ask them, did you like the story? Did you like the story? You can't say aesthetic and all other sixth class male. No. Very young children also have a sense of beauty. They have a sense of criticality. They have a sense of uh, cognitive engagement. You can engage young children on all these dimensions. And you have to teach them that language, literacy, all this script and all they are learning, gunita, vattakshara, this, that, it is useful to them. So how do you use it? Very, very simple things. Like if you have print in the classroom, you have classroom print, your uh, um, things are labeled and the teacher is using those things. And ah, that is useful. You know, I can make out what to do. Maybe it is that it's an attendance chart or a responsibility chart and you say, okay, today Rishikesh has to, uh, uh, you know, clean the blackboard and Rishikesh goes, looks, Rishikesh, clean blackboard. And it is useful suddenly to him. It is not just Arasadada Sara, it is Rishikesh uh, wiping the blackboard. So it is very useful to him. Uh, and uh, I've already talked to you about critical literacy. By critical, I'm, I'm, I'm not using it in any fancy word that a critical response to what you are reading. I'm only using in that sense, okay? So these are the aims of language education and these, this is what we need to uh, uh, engage with. Um, as I said, we think that young children, we understand, the funny thing is when we are at home with our own children, with nephews, with nieces, with neighbors' children, we don't underestimate the intelligence. But when we come into the classroom, we underestimate children's intelligence. Yeah, okay. We, we never underestimate our own children's intelligence. We talk to them exactly at the level they're capable of receiving. But we come to young children, and uh, even our voice and tone and all changes. Achha bacho, I can only speak in Hindi. Achha bacho, aaj hum kya karenge? Aaj hum ye karenge. You don't talk to your child like this at home. Why do you talk to a young child in the classroom like this? What switch is getting turned on in our head that we are talking to young children like this? Imagine that they are your, I mean, a, a, a regular child and you will know the level at which to meet them. Don't think of them as some special artificial creature created for your classroom. <laughs> They're real children there. So that is uh, one thing. So, uh, yeah, next slide, please. That don't underestimate children's capabilities. Uh, therefore, we need to shift. If you ask me what is the work that we need uh, to do in uh, early language, we have to move from very, very narrow ideas of akshara, words, sentence, uh, understanding coming after all of this has been learned. This, we have to keep the overall aims of education in mind and work to use our language education space for that. Can you move to the next slide? Uh, so one thing to do uh, for early childhood educators is that in Anganwadi classrooms, in your early childhood curricula, you are taught about developmental domains, yes? That cognitive, physical, uh, motor, uh, language, all of these are different developmental domains. But developmental domains don't need to mean different, different curricular domains. Curriculum, development, two different things. They are related, they are not the same. So if you think that language development is something different from cognitive development, moral development, and socio-emotional development, then you will not use the language classroom to, to develop morality, to develop ethics, to develop socio-emotional. Then you have, to, you have to have separate happiness curriculum. Nowadays, wherever I go, people are socio-emotional learning. Children, socio-emotional learning. We need curriculum for socio-emotional learning. Use literature in the classroom. You can have socio-emotional learning. I'm not saying literature is the only way to do socio-emotional learning. But we can use curricular spaces to address different developmental domains. You can have children talking about morality, ethics, emotions, uh, all kinds of things. You know, even some kinds of motor development can happen. Or lots of things can happen. So developmental domain does not need each one a separate curricular domain. You have to keep that in mind. 
Final point, and then I'll stop. Uh, if you can go to the next slide. Uh, oh, no, no, next slide. Ah, oh, this, yeah. Oh, that was the right slide. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Huh. Uh, we need common ways of talking about language for ECE people and for people teaching children in grades 1, 2, and 3. Because even though the NCF has said that foundational stage is for professionals working in three to eight, with 3 to 8 year olds, actually we know that it is not like that on the ground. We know that different ministries work with people who work with three to six year olds and six to eight year olds. We know that uh, the kind of uh, conferences, forums, meetings are all quite different. The trainings are different. The recruitment is different. There is no common professional cadre as yet in our country. This is something we need to really work towards yet. It's a really important thing. Uh, we need to have this. Because otherwise, ECE people, when you go to ECE conferences, they talk about play-based pedagogy, they talk about domains of development, they talk about brain development. You go to people who work in primary grade classroom, all they can talk about is aksharas and learning outcomes. Uh, so now, it is not that uh, some kinds of skills are not necessary for young children, but it's like the children finish all play all domains of development when they go into grade one, their brains also stop developing because nobody in grade one talks about these things. So we need to take some of the rich understandings from EC to grades one, two, and three, professionals working there, and some things that they know EC professionals can also learn from them. So we need to have this common basis for uh, creating understanding. So it didn't translate more than the <laughs> so, Sakastu Vishagana or Hedidare, Bundu basically literacy, Sakshrate and Re Yenu and Nodane now examine Madabaku and Taheli, Alinda, Osha Shuru Madru, Edu Akshara, Pada, Wakya, Kagunita, Watakshara, Edu Kalsun, Tadaladu, Adaka Sakastu Daranagana Kotru, Ernedagi, Edu Grehike Yukta Vodu and Taheli. Is it Grehike Yukta Vodu, Tilkuranta, Adairu Berberena? Wodina Jotike Greke Bartadalva, Anunta, Prestia Nukuda, Aru Hedru. So Hagagi, Inundu, Amsha, and on theatre, literacy, but the language iterally, now in higher order skills and the health, critical thinking, critical analysis, critical lagi, Vimarsha Madwantadu, as a Sana Makaliku Kuda Barbek, we do very higher classes gay, Irwanta Dalla, Anunta, Bada, Promukwada, Amshona Hedru. Hagagi, Bada Promukwagi, Aru, early language. Kalikigalen, Gurigalen, another Bage, Sakastu, Idramulka, Torsta or Hedru, Bundu, a Maguina, Jivanaka, Samanda Patrbekan, a context to get Samanda Patron Tadu, Badamukia, Agron Tadu, Matu, Yaude, Vundu, Bashea, Patia Erbodu, Ato Bashege, Samanda Patanta, Classroom Na, Chetuate Erbodu, Adrali Magu, Todegis Kolbeku, important Agron Tadu, Engage Agrebek, Adu Badamukia. Mate Bahu Bashika Vata or Dinda Hetu Kalitare, Sanna Makali, Hetu Bashena, Sajuagi Kalitare. So Arunauru, a Magu English Kalisida Udarna held Tadru. Sajuagi Magu Kalitad, Namginta Fasta Kalitad. Sagagi Avata or Nona create Morbeku and Nontadu. Mate Inundu higher order skill now Udarna and Nakotu, Soundariada on the Abivecti, Soundariada on the Grehike, a Magu Magu in Alu, a Hanta Ketakante, a Bekadas to Matige, Adurte, Adanukura Nau. Uh, one to encourage Madwanta, one to Kelsa Ali Agbeku, Anwanta. Bahala Mukiwagi, now Maguigi in Samartia de Anwanta, Adra Kshamate, Nau, uh, Seriagi Molima Pana Madira, Adke, Iste Agodu, Anwanta, Niluge, Barbardu, uh, Sakas to Kalilike, uh, uh, Adana Svikara Madlike, the capability, Ide in Wanta. So Bada Saramsha uh, Dali Hedadre, uh, Bere Bere Enu, Abiru the Kshetregli, uh, Social Emotional Bhavanat Maka. Bundu uh Belloni Agbek on Tedre, Bashe, Belloni Jotekene, Bhavanat Maka Belloni Agwanta, Adu one do the Hanaste. Agene uh physical motor development and the NLT. Adi Lavu Kuda, language and literacy class kala le uh on the uh Samagravagi Norta, Adana integrate Martha, is an a model of the Mulaka now aims of education night modabudu, Adana Matu, uh language teaching na aims and Yaradu Bear Bereagi, it to Nord Bardu and one to the na but uh Pramukwagi shall a jar. Then you are Rishi and Matanim gave up as Bertini. Bundu and Tedra Karnataka, Sakas to 
ಈ ಒಂದು ಟೀಚರ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನಲ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಕೆಲಸಗಳು ಆಗಿವೆ ಮತ್ತು ಎನ್ ಇ ಪಿಯ ರೆಕಮೆಂಡೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಅರ್ಲಿ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ಹುಡ್ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಮತ್ತು ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಕರಿಕ್ಯುಲಮ್ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಬದಲಾವಣೆಗಳು ಕೂಡ ಆಗಿವೆ ಪಾಲಿಸಿ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಕರಿಕ್ಯುಲಮ್ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಈ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹಿನ್ನೆಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಏನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಉದಾಹರಣೆಗೆ ಟೀಚರ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನಲ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರವನ್ನು ಗಮನದಲ್ಲಿಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ನಾವು ಫರ್ದರ್ ಇದನ್ನು ಮುಂದೆ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ಹೋಗೋದು ಹೇಗೆ ಯಾವ ಕ್ರಮಗಳನ್ನು ತೊಗೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ಏನಾದರೂ ನೀವು ಸಲಹೆಗಳನ್ನು ಒಂದು ಒಂದು ದಾರಿಯನ್ನು ನೀವು ನಮಗೆಲ್ಲ ಹಂಚ್ಕೊಳ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಈ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋದರೆ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅಂತ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ನಾನು ಐ ವಾಸ್ ವಂಡ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಹೌ ಐ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಅವೇ ಇನ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ನೌ ಐ ರಿಯಲೈಸ್ ಮಂಜುನಾಥ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಸೊ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೌ ಐ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ರಿಯಲೈಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸಮರೈಸ್ ಈ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಯಾ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದಲ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಡನ್ ಕ್ವೈಟ್ ಕ್ವೈಟ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ವಿತ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಇ ಸಿ ಇ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಸರೌಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಎನ್ ಇ ಪಿ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ದ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ ಇನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ರೀಸನ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಐ ಕಮ್ ದೇರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಎನ್ ಇ ಪಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎನ್ ಸಿ ಎಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಟಿ ಮಚ್ ವಾಟ್ ಬೋತ್ ಅರುಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶೈಲಜಾ ವೇರ್ ಶೇರಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಡೂ ಮೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಅವೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಟು ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ವೇ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಲರ್ನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಟು ಪುಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೊ ದ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ನಾವ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಹೌ ಡು ವಿ ಗೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎನ್ ಇ ಪಿ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫೋಕಸ್ ಆನ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನಲ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಇದು ಒಂದು ಸಲ ಕಲ್ತ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ನಾನು ಕಲ್ತ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬಿಟ್ಟೆ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ತೀನಿ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಅಲ್ಲ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ವೆರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಆಗಾಗ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಹೊಸದು ಕೂಡ ಕಲಿತಾ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಅದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಮಗೆ ಚರ್ಚೆ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಟು ಹೌ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ನಾವ್ ವಿ ಗೋಂಟ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ರೂಮ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಲರ್ನ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ವೇರ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಇನ್ ಅ ಸೆಮಿನಾರ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ವಿತ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ನೋ ಫಾರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ನೋ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ಫಾರ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ಎನ್ ಇ ಪಿ ಎಂಫಸೈಸಸ್ ಆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ನಾವ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಸೇರೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ವೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಂಗೇಜ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಯು ನೋ ಆನ್ ಆನ್ ಆರ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ರೂಮ್ ಸೊ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ಟು ಹೌ ಡು ವಿ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಅಂತ ಎನ್ ಇ ಪಿ ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಇಟ್ ಅ ಸಮ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಎನ್ ಇ ಪಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೇಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಎನ್ಶೋರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಡೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನಲ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಇಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ನಾನು ಐವತ್ತು ದಿನ ನನ್ನನ್ನು ನಾನು ತೊಡಗಿಸ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ನಾನು ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಅದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಇನ್ನೂ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಕ
and let's say something on what is it that one should be understanding uh, about reading anta matra nanage beku i know most of the other things so then i go and opt for a module which is to do about reading right so this way i could choose what i want to and that program would get launched as long as i get about let's say 10 to 15 similar thinking teachers wanting a similar kind of a program that module would get launched so this was started uh, in karnataka and i think this is a very nice way of uh, moving forward in the way nep is saying and in the way i think all of us would like to ensure our own professional development there has to be this you know uh, self motivated drive towards it so adikkoskara naavu ella serkondu nammalle sarkara it's a different thing, but we can, as a community, come together on many of these things. So, for instance, teaching community, a teacher community. See, Gagle Sumaru, Nimale, WhatsApp groups, Golu Kuda, it's a very nice way. Other Sumar Kade and Agbutte, WhatsApp group, good morning messages, so we should try and, you know, uh, ensure that we are focused. Uh, in fact, uh, just in the morning, Aruna was sharing because she was one of the first one to share the NCF on school education, which NCRT uploaded on their website day before yesterday. So though it was uh, ready some time back and it was submitted to the government, day before yesterday it was released or it was uploaded on uh, NCRT website for public. She got it through her WhatsApp group of teachers and uh, you know, and that's how she shared it. So when you have these groups and when something important comes and you share it and then you start a discussion on it. No, these are the different ways in which you know we can ensure that we continuously uh, you know focus on the area of work that we do and continuously develop with like-minded people with you know friends and talking about various things now as you do that you will also see that the governments have kind of come and supported it there are many places where for instance voluntary teacher forums which azim premji foundation is also done in many districts these have got support from the brcs and the crcs in various districts because they see that it's a very active thing. Voluntary teachers bandhu Saturday and Sunday, they are coming in and discussing now. Suddenly the bureaucracy feels that, well, there is something. What is happening there? Oh, now hog but idane train madbe kontidbe adike barthalila. Now if you actually allow for that place to be a a place where teachers want to do the things that they want to do, then you know it becomes an automatic uh, uh, space of learning. And uh, so that environment gets created that way. And clearly, uh, there is a lot of support for uh, VTFs uh, on the ground by the education bureaucracy. <laughs> so these are some of the things that uh, we can do. And um, I think I'm sure Aruna and Sharaja also may be adding to this. So I'll pause here given the time. Thanks. Uh, 2017, Rishi, uh, I think you were referring to Guru Chetana. Sorry, Kalika yeah, Chetana. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. No, no. yeah, yeah. Guru, Guru Chetana, and because many, some of us were part of it, so I, I quickly picked up. Uh, Guru Chetana, Karakram Rally Sakas to modules develop Agidantadu. Kalika Chetreke Kuda, Ade Vandu Dhati Elene Siddha Padisidantadu. So, uh, so very quickly, uh, Bada Mukhiwagi, I think two points I think which struck me is 50 days, provision for 50 days TPD in a year. I think it's a big thing. Uh, we were stuck at 20, uh, not even 20 actually, 10. 10. 50. Not 50, days, huh. 50 hours. 50 hours. 50 hours. 50 hours. Broadly, what you could look at it as two weeks. Two weeks. Okay. Two yeah. weeks. I mean, if you take five to six yeah, yeah, per yeah. day, it's about a few. Now, even 10, 12 days, what if it is dedicated way, but then a lot of informal spaces and also uh, voluntarism, I think that is one critical thing. So, as long as wherever teachers are uh, sort of voluntarily coming forward uh, uh, and, you know, in their self learning mode, I think teacher agency. And the way, intense way in which everything is ready, you know, it's a comprehensive package. Uh, preparation by the resource person, the content, the environment in which the whole training takes place, um, and also the self-choice of teacher. I think all make it uh, such a uh, nice, nice one. So a lot of points from you, Rishi. Uh, thank you. I will now, uh, I think, uh, come back to uh, Aruna. Uh, uh, Aruna, what are the, some of the skills that are absolutely essential for foundational stage teachers? Uh, recommendations uh, teacher competence irbodu. Matte to new skill based courses na teach Nimma experience 
ಮತ್ತು ಅಜೀಮ್ ಪ್ರೇಮ್ಜಿ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಸ್ನ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷ್ನಲ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟನ್ನು ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ನೀವು ಹೇಗೆ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ಸು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಈ ರೀತಿಯಾಗಿ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷ್ನಲಿ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ನ ಟ್ರೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಸೈಟ್ಸ್ ಏನು ಯಾ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೊ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಯೇಷನ್ ಟು ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಸ್ಟೇಟೆಡ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ಟೀಚರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈ ಆ್ಯಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಯು ನೋ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಏರಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ಇ ಸಿ ಇ ರೈಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಆರ್ ಬಿಹೇವಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸ್ಟೆಮ್ಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಇನ್ ದ ವೇ ವಿ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವೇ ವಿ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಎಂಬ್ರೇಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಯು ನೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಮೈ ಡಿಸ್ಪೋಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ವಿತ್ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ಕಮ್ ಸೊ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ರೆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಯರ್ ವಿಚ್ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಡೆಲಿವರ್ಡ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಹೌ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಅವೇರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಕರಿಕ್ಯುಲಮ್ ಸೊ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡಿಕ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಗೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ಸ್ ಐಮ್ ಶ್ಯೂರ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ನೋ ಮಚ್ ಮೋರ್ ದೆನ್ ಬಟ್ ಐಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸೇ ಸಮ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ನೋ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಅ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ಐಲ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ವಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಷನ್ ಹೌ ಐ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಯು ನೋ ದ ಟೀಚರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಇನ್ ಇ ಸಿ ಇ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಯು ನೋ ವೈಲ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದೇ ಲರ್ನ್ ವೆರಿ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಸೆಟಪ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಲರ್ನ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಟು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದೀಸ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವೇಷನ್ ಮೀನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಡು ಐ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹೌ ಡು ಐ ಡಾಕ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಹೌ ಡು ಐ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾನ್ ಮೈ ಲೆಸನ್ಸ್ these are all some very essential skills uh, i feel a teacher needs to have uh, because you know making observations is not easy i'll tell you just to give you an example because uh, uh, manjunath sir was also asking in our teaching so we stand, send our students uh, you know ma education students to the schools to go uh, observe the teachers in anganwadi centers private preschools and other educational institutions like this Uh, for them to get a sense of how teachers are working what is happening nature of work how they are recording so one batch uh, and they are required to be there the whole day so one batch left after some time and uh, when they got back uh, i mean we got to know that they left early and i asked them uh, why did you leave early we finished our observation ma'am they said so i was like you know surprised i said 35 years i've been in this field and still i wonder whether i really know how to observe children right and you've been so therefore the reason i'm saying is not to say that they were wrong or right or whatever but the point is what does it actually mean to observe it's a huge thing because are we uh, allowing children to be themselves so that the learning happens and then we are able to infer from it so what does it mean to draw out of those observations that we are making to be able to make meaning and to see whether the child is progressing developing whatever so in that sense a teacher needs to you know it there has to be an intentionality in the sense i go with a certain purpose i need to plan my lessons it's not like we don't know but you know that kind of focus way of wanting to work go with some kind of plan go with some kind of intention see what is it that you want to develop so it is a kind of you know we are working towards uh chil- uh, we are working with children who are actually in the process of learning right and what does it mean to observe these processes that they are going through to learn for themselves by themselves we are only facilitating so i think all these are a huge things uh, in terms of being able to understand uh, as a teacher uh, working with uh, very young children so uh, to come to the part of how we looked at in azim prem ji schools uh because i was uh, working with uh, initially we set up six schools now there are nine schools including the one on the campus so initially when we set up these six schools uh, so i was taking care of the entire uh, teacher professional development area uh so we were thinking how do we work with teachers what do we do and u
so about almost, I would say, about seven, eight years back itself, we started working, uh, we didn't look at it as ECE, ECC, as much as ECD in the sense, early child development. So therefore, we felt, you know, the development from three to eight years, which is what we are looking at now, we started working on it at that time itself. And I'll connect it to, so that means we wanted uh, class one and two teachers to be part of this ECE uh, professional development program. So I'll go back to my very first question on uh, notions, right? So what happened was uh, the year uh, when we introduced it as ECD and class one and two teachers should be there as part of ECE sessions, they were shocked. They did not want to be part of the ECE program or sessions. They said, Nanga ye ma'am varno, Nanga primary school teachers. Na engalukko ECE ko sammandha me illa. You know? So that was the kind of idea. And these are teachers who have been there, who we have been doing some a lot of perspective building, understanding, you know, working with them, how we look at it, what is our understanding of children. After being with us for four years, still when they had to come to ECE sessions, the primary school teachers felt, you know, why should I be part of ECE sessions? Right? So therefore, it very clearly tells us how... Uh, so therefore, it is about mindset. What does it mean to work with the beliefs? We all come with our own beliefs, values, yeah, views, everything. So how do you work with someone? Because like I said in the beginning, we truly believe that teachers come with experience. right? So it is not to say, no, 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 you can't think like that. It is important. EC is important. Saying like that won't help. No? So therefore, we had to look at the processes that we will put in place and how we are going to develop these teachers. So one of the things was very clearly right at the start itself, we tried to differentiate uh, between training versus development. You know, so at least in our heads when we were all planning and thinking, we said it is not teacher training. Because training was for us, you know, it looks like, uh, uh, I'll tell you, I will train you, you will learn this, you will go do this. You know, somehow it felt like that. Whereas if you're looking at it as development, and if we also, even though many people still call it as teacher training, if we go with the mindset of developing ourselves, right? So then we will know what else I need to develop myself in. So that was the idea with which we went. And we also looked at it as we don't need to all the time do these development programs. We can put them onto each other, like sharing, we talk. So uh, we had different teachers with different capacities and different uh, potentials, whatever, right? So there was this one teacher in uh, one of our schools uh, who's very good in his artwork. He's an art teacher. The kind of work that he would do with uh, children. If you and I go sit in that class, no? 30 minutes, 40 minutes, one hour, it is only confusion in the class. Full galatane. Bere yenu irala. A class nali. Okay? But by the end of that 40th minute, 50 minute, you can go see. I'm telling you because I've been. So you can go see that children would have done whatever was required to be done. It's like magical moment in his class. So what we felt was that our teachers should go there. No? Why should we tell art is a process, it is not a product? Are you taking children through process? What does it mean? Why do you look at it as an end product? You, you know, it doesn't make meaning. Of course, we gave them lots of hands-on things also to do. I'll come to that a bit. But we felt the moment they observe something like this and then have a reflective session with them and then have a discussion with them, what did it mean to you? So these are some of the other ways of doing also, I mean, having some sessions with the teachers with it. Then another thing we also did is, you know, creativity, like uh, I'll come to uh, what uh, Shailja Menon was also talking about, socio-emotional uh, development in children and also creativity, the other aspects, because we only talk about uh, 1, 2, 3 and ABC, literacy and numeracy, right? So creativity, we made them uh, go through a process of creating many things and then we said, now go around assessing everybody. Now, how do you claim who's been more creative? How do you decide? Who's been more creative? Depending on your capacity only, you will see how much. Like till today, I can draw only a triangle and, uh, you know, over a square as a house. 
I can't draw beyond that. You get what I'm saying? So then how do you look at it? So these are the kind of processes we put in place in terms of teacher development programs for our teachers. Then another thing that happened was uh, also uh, being able to uh, have class one and two teachers or class two and three teachers because they came and said, no, that why should I be in EC? So what we said was, okay, tomorrow you two, three teachers who are teaching class one and two will teach the younger ones. Okay. So they said, okay, ma'am, we will do it. We'll do. They planned and they went. So we, told, we all had a, it was all a planned thing. We told the other teachers, leave them alone. We will not say anything. We will not go watch. We will not observe. We'll leave it. Let them be with the children for three, four hours and then let them come out and then share with us. So uh, the whole day session with the children, whatever was over. So they came out and we all clapped for them. And we asked them, how was the session? Ma'am, big zero. So I said, why? What happened? So they said, it's not easy, ma'am, to be with children. Right? They are so difficult. We went with a plan. Not even 1% of our plan worked. We thought we'll just go there and deliver. But children were all over us. Children were not listening to us. We were not able to put them in place. You get what I'm saying? So I'm only trying to narrate this because we really took teachers through these experiences to not to say that, see, you were wrong. But the point is to say, how was I thinking? And how has my thinking changed now? How have I been able to reflect on this? You know, what was the idea with which I went? What is the idea with which I'm looking at it? And therefore, how do I need to work on this? So these kind of uh, many such sessions we did with teachers. It was a concrete example on day one also. One of the questions was that, you know, when I talk about perspective, I'll tell you. Because uh, on day one, somebody said, uh, you know, we introduced uh, uh, in Kannada, Raga Sada. Okay, we are told what to teach. We teach Raga Sada and we will also, uh, we also know how to teach it. Uh, but I feel it is not scientific. You know, that was one of the questions from the uh, participants on day one. I feel it's not scientific. It is not correct. Why are we teaching Raga Sada? Why are we not teaching in this way? So then on the panel, you know, one of them clarified saying it has been proven, it has been studied, it has been researched to say what are these letters, how do they help child, how many words related to, you know, starting from these letters, these are common, therefore you can introduce. And a lot of work has been done in this and that is why we feel that in Alikali, when you start like this, it will help. And that was the kind of perspective that was built. So this is what I mean by how we work with teachers of Azim Premji schools to make them understand, make them go through the process to see and reflect for themselves. This is not to say like magic from next day, everybody is a changed human being. The point is not that. The point is to say that we need to be able to put ourselves through those processes. And are we open to it? You know, are we open actually to be... Uh, learning from such experiences, what is our takeaway? So what happens as a result of all these things is, you know, then you become a reflective practitioner, right? So that is what is essential. Uh, it is not about, of course, we have to reflect on how lessons went, how well teaching Channa Gaita, Ilva, Ivaga, Yake, Makkalge, Atta, Aitu, Atta, Gilla, Naan, Elli, Mistake, Madi, this is required. I'm not saying no but at a different level of thinking to go through some processes and be able to reflect on your own actions, your own attitudes, your own thinking, you know, your own approaches. So I think makes a lot of uh, difference uh, for a teacher. Uh, and it's important that they go through this. We all have to go through this and remain open, like how children are open to learning, no? Whatever we give them, they absorb, right? So are we willing to retain this all through our years of experience so that we will know what it means to reflect on how we are teaching and how we are engaging with uh, children. Uh, and we, in our courses also, we kind of give such opportunities for our students in the courses that we teach. Uh, because uh, like uh, Manjunath sir mentioned, uh, in EC we talk about the curriculum, we talk about the pedagogy. You know, there are four main aspects that we need to look at in EC. One is the child. You know, how do we understand about, what do we know about the child, how children learn, why they need to learn that way, all that. Then the other one is the content, right? Now, content we say in younger ones because professional development is required to understand uh, the domains, right? And then the context, 
what does context mean and then the pedagogy so child content context pedagogy these four aspects we try to cover when we work with our students also and when we work with teachers also so there are various things like this we do yeah thank you uh bala pramukhavada amshagalu avar de avara experience ne ittkondu avaru maatadta ಒಂದು ಉದಾಹರಣೆ ಅವ್ರು ಕೊಡೋದಾದರೆ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಗಮನ ಕೊಡೋದೇನು ಅಂದರೆ ಗಮನಿಸೋದು ಅಂದರೆ ಏನು ಅನ್ನೋ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಗಮನಿಸೋದು ಅಂದರೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳನ್ನು ಮುಕ್ತವಾಗಿ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಫ್ರೀಯಾಗಿ ಆಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಏನು ಅದರ ಜಗತ್ತು ಏನಿದೆ ಏನನ್ನು ಕಲಿತಾ ಇದೆ ಏನನ್ನು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡುವಂಥದ್ದು ಒಂದು ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ಲು ಸೊ ಹಾಗೆ ಒಂದು ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ನ ಅಥವಾ ಎಮ್ ಆರ್ ಪಿಸ್ನ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕಳಿಸಿದಾಗ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವೇಷನ್ ಮುಗಿದೋಯ್ತು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಏನನ್ನು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಮತ್ತು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಬೇಕಾದಂಥ ಕೌಶಲ್ಯಗಳನ್ನು ನಾವು ಮೈಗೂಡಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀವಾ ಅನ್ನುವಂಥದ್ದನ್ನು ಅಂಶವನ್ನು ಅವರು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಮತ್ತು ನನಗೆ ಭಾಳ ಮುಖ್ಯವಾಗಿ ಅನಿಸಿದ್ದು ನಮಗಿರುವಂಥ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಅಂದರೆ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಟು ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ನು ಏನು ಪೂರ್ವ ಪ್ರಾಥಮಿಕ ಹಂತದ ಕಲಿಕೆ ಈ ಸಿ ಕಲಿಕೆಗೆ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಮುಕ್ತವಾಗಿ ತೆರೆದುಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗ ಅವರಿಗಿದ್ದಂಥ ಬಯಾಸಸ್ಸು ಅದರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳಿದಂಥದ್ದು ಮತ್ತು ಟ್ರೈನಿಂಗ್ ಮತ್ತು ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಅವರು ಭಾಳ ಪ್ರಮುಖವಾಗಿ ಒಂದು ವಿಭಜನೆಯನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿರುವಂಥದ್ದು ಅಸೆಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆಯೂ ಮಾತಾಡಿದರು ಉದಾಹರಣೆಗೆ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟಿವಿಟಿಯನ್ನು ಅಸೆಸ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಹೇಗೆ ಅನ್ನುವಂಥದ್ದು ಸೊ ಅದು ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಬರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಅದರ ಮೇಲೆ ಅಸೆಸ್ ಮಾಡುವಂಥದ್ದು ಅಥವಾ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ಆಗಿ ಅದನ್ನು ಮೀರಿ ಬೇರೆ ಏನಾದರೂ ಇದೆಯಾ ಅನ್ನುವಂಥದ್ದನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಅವರು ಹೇಳಿದರು ಪ್ರಮುಖವಾಗಿ ಅಜೀಮ್ ಪ್ರೇಮ್ಜಿ ಶಾಲೆಯ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ನ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನಲ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರು ಕ್ಲೋಸಾಗಿ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ ಆಗಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಹೇಗೆ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಕೂಡ ಅದೇ ಸಮಾಜದಿಂದ ಅದೇ ಸಮುದಾಯದಿಂದ ಬರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಅವರು ಅವರ ಪರ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವನ್ನು ಅವರ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಸೆಟ್ಟನ್ನು ಬದಲಾವಣೆ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಳ್ಳೋದಕ್ಕೆ ವಾತಾವರಣವನ್ನು ನಿರ್ಮಿಸೋದು ಅವರು ಆ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಷ್ನರ್ ಆಗುವಂಥ ಒಂದು ಪಯಣದಲ್ಲಿ ಮುನ್ನಡೆಯುವಂಥದ್ದು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅವಕಾಶಗಳನ್ನು ನಿರ್ಮಿಸ್ತಾ ಎಲ್ಲ ವಿಷಯಗಳನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಅವರು ಮೈಗೂಡಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಳುವಂಥದ್ದು ಮಗು ಹೇಗೆ ಓಪನ್ ಆಗಿ ಓಪನ್ ಮೈಂಡೆಡ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತದೋ ಟೀಚರ್ ಕೂಡ ಓಪನ್ ಮೈಂಡೆಡ್ ಆಗಿ ಇರುವಂಥ ಅಗತ್ಯತೆಯ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಅವರು ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ನಮ್ಮ ಗಮನವನ್ನು ಸೆಳೆದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಹಾಗೆ ನಾವು ಎಮ್ ಎ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಪ್ರಮುಖವಾಗಿ ಯಾವ್ಯಾವ ಆಯಾಮಗಳನ್ನು ನಾವು ಗಮನ ಇಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಮಗು ಎರಡನೇದು ಯಾವ ವಿಷಯವನ್ನು ಕಲಿಸಬೇಕು ಅಥವಾ ಯಾವ ವಿಷಯ ನಮ್ಮ ಮುಂದೆ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ನಾವು ಮಗುವಿನೊಂದಿಗೆ ಡೀಲ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನುವಂಥದ್ದು ಆ ಮಗುವಿನ ಒಂದು ಸಂದರ್ಭ ಕಾಂಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ನುವಂಥದ್ದು ಮತ್ತು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ನಾವು ಕಲಿಸ್ತೀವಿ ಅನ್ನುವಂಥದ್ದು ಬೋಧನಾ ವಿಧಾನ ಇಷ್ಟನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಪ್ರಮುಖವಾಗಿ ಗಮನದಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಅರುಣ ಅವರು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಅರುಣ ಶೈಲಜ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಿ ದಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಷನ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬಿನ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಸೆವರಲ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟಾಟಾ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ದ ಕಲಿಕೆ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದಿ ನಾರ್ತ್ ಈಸ್ಟ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸೊ if i may ask you what would you recommend uh, as to how one should look at becoming a competent and effective teacher uh, particularly in the area of uh, foundational literacy and numeracy and secondly what do our teachers and anganwadi anganwadi teachers and uh, preschool teachers have to keep in mind to develop themselves in this particular area uh manjunath i will address your question a bit indirectly because when you say what do teachers need to do in order to become uh, good teachers so then there is you know all kinds of knowledge all kinds of attitudes dispositions etc so basically you're saying asking almost a question about the teacher professional development aspect that lies beyond the individual so if you don't mind i'll comment on the system level of teacher professional development because i think that is actually going to uh, help individuals also to become better teachers so as uh, uh, rishi has said the new nep has
teacher development along with you're saying continuous but in that continuous we cannot make up once the teachers in the classroom for all that didn't happen before they came into the classroom so even if instead of 50 hours they gave 50 days per year even if they gave me 50 days per year once the teacher has come into the classroom i'll say give me those 50 days before they came to the classroom and then give me whatever 50 hours while they are in the classroom or whatever uh, uh, what is happening with Tata Trust and with any, I'm uh, not Tata, any NGO working on the ground, uh, whoever is working on the ground, is uh, we are trying to fix a plane that is already taken off. And that is very, very difficult to do because the safety of so many people and well being of so many people is at stake. So, all of you also who work uh, with Azim Premji Foundation and you're working in Anganwadis. Uh, you will find that uh, that's what you're trying to do. Uh, the government as yet has not invested what is needed to be invested. It's, I'm not a critic of the government. The entire structure, the system, everything has been like this. It's no particular set of people that one is holding responsible. Our entire education system has been like this, such that uh, even today, early childhood professionals, Anganwadi workers, are referred to on government websites as honorary workers. Honorary workers. Matlab, little better than mothers, but still not as good as teachers. That is the signaling that comes when from honorary workers. I think as early childhood professionals, we all should ask for the uh, respect and dignity that comes from being seen as a knowledgeable professional. So if we can have a cadre of early childhood educators, even Anganwadi workers, Anganwadi workers do so much of work, you know, they do not just education, but five other things along with education. So in fact, they require a lot of dignity, a lot of respect, and a lot of professional status. Yes. And that professional status me includes being asked to be prepared as professionals. Even in NEP 2020, let me tell you what I understand and Rishi, you can correct me. It says, if you have 10 plus 2 certificate, you will get six months of training, training, development. And no, because I had that is one of my points. If you have less than 10 plus 2, up to one year. And this can be done long distance. And it, is, it can be coordinated by your CRC or uh, something like that. Uh, and over time, long term, the government says we will come up with a uh, cadre. So I think that unified cadre, without that, we are not going to be able to prepare early childhood educators in the way they deserve to be prepared. And we are going to be constantly trying to fix the plane after it has taken off. We cannot have long distance programs for education. I mean, I mean, we can have it. I'm saying it cannot be the primary way to prepare you. We need lots of contact period and lots of time together. Six months is not going to be enough. And even those six month states I have traveled uh, across are not happening. So uh, many times, uh, Anganwadi workers are recruited given some one or two you know, weeks here or there, put into the classroom, then the government is telling uh, who, whichever NGOs are working in that state, come, 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 help our Anganwadi workers. Then everybody rushes in and starts trying to work with Anganwadi. This is not the way that we should be. Uh, this is not acceptable. This is not acceptable. And I think even NGOs and all should be telling governments better you know, do things because we cannot do it in this way. You know, so, pre-service teacher training in that continuous teacher development process, this is something we really need to emphasize on. Now, if you go to, uh, if you if you are talking about early childhood continuum, it's not just the Anganwadi workers, we also have teachers in the grades one, two, three. If you go to their programs and say, okay, Anganwadi workers, we are not preparing well, maybe teachers we are preparing well for language and literacy or whatever it is. You go to the DL ed curriculum, they don't have people teaching them who know anything about language and literacy. They don't have curriculum that has been updated for I don't know how many years. I'm not going to name the state and I'm not exaggerating, but there was one DL ed curriculum, I was looking through their language education and I came across Ding Dong theory, Bow Wow theory, Tata theory, and uh, something else like this. And I have worked in this field for 27 or 28 years 
I don't know these theories. So I'm like, okay, what is this? So then I went and researched and I found out that these are theories about why human beings must have developed language. Theories about why we develop language as a species. This is what is being taught in language education. Is this the knowledge that teachers need? To, they need to know how do children learn language? How does language development happen? What are effective pedagogies? Which aspects do I need to uh, teach? And how do I assess children? These are the kinds of questions on teachers' minds. This is not what is being taught. So even our teachers who are coming into grades one and three, knowing about ding dong theory and bow wow theory, you can look it up. I'm not exaggerating. These theories exist. What are they going to use in the classroom with children? So we are not giving useful uh, knowledge in our pre-service teacher education programs. So in continuous professional development, we need to have a very strong, solid pre-service component before we can pick up. That is point one. Point two is because we don't have that, then as I'm saying, we ask civil society organizations, we ask NGOs and all, please partner with us, help teachers to uh, develop uh, uh, you know, uh, adequately. Many of this, as Aruna said, it's strange you mentioned this because it was on my PowerPoint slides as well. This word training, teacher training karwana hai, teacher training karwana hai, teacher training, wherever we go. What does a training mean? Like, who do we train? What does training mean to you? When, when do we train people versus educate them? Is there a difference between these two words? I don't even call it development, I'm calling it education. I mean, development and education. But training means that what I tell you, you do. And I'm going to tell you exactly what needs to be told and you go do it. So when we go for some of these teacher trainings across the country, what we find is happening is literally they tell you, they train you. This is the textbook. How do you teach from this textbook? This is the kind of training. Very, very narrow. I tell you, you do. And this is not teacher education. A teacher is a professional. A professional is capable of making their own decisions and judgments and working. Of course, we have curriculum, everything to, to safeguard that process. But you don't tell a doctor, this is what you do. Go do it. We deserve to ask this country to start investing in us as professionals and treating us as professionals. We do not need trainings. We need education programs for us. That is one thing. Second thing is because NGOs themselves working in all, like Chhattisgarh, some remote area, some, somewhere else, Rajasthan, another remote area. This country is very vast. It has many remote areas. And NGOs are being called upon by governments to come and put up teams. Now, who are they recruiting? These are not people who are very knowledgeable either in difficult areas. Where are you going to get very good people to train the, train the teachers? No. So you're getting people sometimes who know less than the teachers, who are training the teachers. So what are we getting in effect with all of this? I don't understand. I just don't understand that. So I think that what we need really is to equip not just teachers. That's why I took it at the system level, because I can tell them you need to know x, y, and z. But the system needs to learn. So I, I don't think it is teacher individual development I'm talking about. But the system development, like can our SCRTs become strong? Can our SCRTs professionalize? Can our diets professionalize? Can we have professionals through the education system such that it's not just the teachers who are professionals working with a whole bunch of people who may or may not know? Then at some point, one would think that NGOs are brought in for very specific purposes only. I mean, the system itself learns and develops and is professionalized to the extent that NGOs are brought in as select partners in for minor things. Not that NGOs are running the system in uh, you know some way. So these are my hopes. I am not being critical. I think this is what needs to change in this country. And these are just like next steps I'm, I'm putting forward. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So. Last ball sixer. <laughs> so, Kadanali, Bosha, Idana, Antima, Gorsadike, Vada Chanagi, our headroom, Ramukawagi, teacher, profession, Gentraga, Munchene, our Yavri three, our Rupgold Tare, and Nodu, other important to other Kibeka than Tabe, was there Beku, Anwanta Dundu, Yerdnedu Nama, our Rupgolisuanta, curriculum Hager Beku, 
ಅನ್ನುವಂಥ ಅದರ ಅದರ ಬಗ್ಗೆನೇ ಅವರು ಭಾಳ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ ಆದಂಥ ವಿಷಯಗಳನ್ನು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಆಗಿರುವಂಥದ್ದು ಮತ್ತು ಆ ಟೀಚರ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷ್ನಲ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರಿ ಟೀಚರ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷ್ನಲ್ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡುವಂಥ ಎನ್ ಜಿ ಓಸ್ ಮತ್ತು ಅವರು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಗೊಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡುವಂಥ ಜನರ ಕ್ಷಮತೆ ಏನು ಈ ಎಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆಯ ರೂಪದಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಅಂಶಗಳನ್ನು ಅವರು ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಅನ್ಲೆಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅಂಟಿಲ್ ಈ ಎಲ್ಲ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆಗಳು ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ರೂಪುಗೊಳ್ಳದೇ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಸಿದ್ಧಗೊಳ್ಳದೇ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಆ ಆಶಯ ಸರಿಯಾದ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾರ್ಯಗತಗೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಕಷ್ಟ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅನ್ನುವಂಥದ್ದು ಅವರ ಒಂದು ಇಂಗಿತ ಅದು ನಿಜಾಂಶ ಕೂಡ ಅದು ವಾಸ್ತವ ಕೂಡ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಮುಂದಿನ ಹತ್ತು ವರ್ಷಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಜೊತೆ ಜೊತೆಗೇ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡುವಂಥದ್ದು ಅಗತ್ಯ ಇರುವಂಥದ್ದು ಈಗ ನಾವು ಎರಡು ರೌಂಡ್ ಚರ್ಚೆಯನ್ನು ಮುಗಿಸಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಈಗ ಒಂದು ಮುಕ್ತವಾಗಿ ಒಂದು ಬಹುಶಃ ಒಂದು ಎರಡು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳನ್ನು ತೊಗೊಳ್ಬೋದು ಪ್ಯಾನಲ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ಗೆ ನಿಮ್ದೇನಾದರೂ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳಿದ್ದರೆ ಯಾರಾದರೂ ಕೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಯಾರಾದರೂ ಮೈಕ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟರೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯದು ಓಕೆ ರಶ್ಮಿ ಮತ್ತು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ನಿಮಿಷ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಯಾರಾದರೂ ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಮೈಕ್ ಕೊಡ್ತೀರಿ ರಿಷಿ ಸರ್ ನೀವು ಇರಬೇಕು ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಷನ್ ತುಂಬ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಾಯಿತು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಮೊದಲನೇ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಬಂದು ನನಗೆ ಏನಂತ ಅಂದರೆ ಸೊ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾದರೂ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ಇದೆ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನಲ್ ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ಸು ಆ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನಲ್ ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ಸು ಮೇಡಮ್ ಹೇಳಿರೋ ಹಾಗೆ ಡಿಂಗ್ ಡಾಂಗ್ ಥಿಯರಿ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಡಮ್ ಡಮ್ ಥಿಯರಿ ಅನುಕರಣವಾದ ಸೊ ಈ ಇವು ಏನಿದೆ ಇದ್ರ ಆಧಾರದ ಮೇಲೆ ನಿಂತಿದೆ ಈಗಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ನಾವು ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ಏನು ಅದನ್ನು ಚೇಂಜ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋದು ಒಂದು ಅದನ್ನು ಚೇಂಜ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಏನಾದರೂ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅನ್ನೋದು ಒಂದು ಮತ್ತು ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಇದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ಗಳಾಗಿದೆ ನಿಜ ಆದರೆ ಆ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ಗಳು ಎಲ್ಲ ಜನಕ್ಕೆ ತಲುಪ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಮತ್ತು ಒಂದು ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ದು ಬ್ಯಾರಿಯರ್ ಕೂಡ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಮತ್ತು ಅದನ್ನು ತಿ ತಲುಪಿಸೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನಮಗೆ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ವೇ ಸಿಗ್ದೇನು ಕೂಡ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಈ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವೇನಾದ್ರೂ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಹೋದರೆ ಇದೆಲ್ರಿಗೂ ಸಿಗಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋದೊಂದು ಮತ್ತು ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಿಸಿದ ಹಾಗೆ ಏನಾದರೂ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ನ ತರೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯತೆಗಳು ಇದೆಯಾ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಶೈಲಜಾ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳಿದಾಗೆ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಹೋಪ್ ದಟ್ ಶಿ ಪುಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ಶುಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈವ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಕೇಟ್ ಹೇಗೆ ನಾವು ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಷನರ್ಸ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟೆನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇ ಸಿ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮಿಕ್ಲಿ ದ ಆಲ್ ದ ರಿಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಬಟ್ ಅದು ಆಗುತ್ತೇನೂ ಕೂಡ ನಾನು ಹೇಳಿದಾಗೆ ಈಗ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೆನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಪಾಲಿಸೀಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಮ್ ರೈಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಇ ಸಿ ಇದು ಎನ್ ಸಿ ಆರ್ ಟಿ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಏಯ್ಟೀನಲ್ಲಿ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಬಂದಿದ್ದು ಫೈನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇ ಸಿ ಪಾಲಿಸಿ ಅವ್ರ ಅವ್ರ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಐ ತಿಂಕ್ ದ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಈಗ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟೂ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಒಂದು ವರ್ಷನೂ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ದ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಕರಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಸೊ ಆ ಕರಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ವರ್ಕಿಂದ ಈಗ ನೀವು ಹೇಳಿದ ಹಾಗೆ ಫೈನಲಿ ಅದು ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ಬದಲಾವಣೆಗೆ ಮುಟ್ಟಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಒಂದು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಸಮಯ ಹಿಡಿಯುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ನಾವು ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೆಸೆಸರಿಲಿ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಅಗ್ರೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅಡಾಪ್ಟ್ ಎನ್ ಇ ಪಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್
right? And that is why what the policy says, it takes a pragmatic position, saying that in the long run, we will do this. All this thing that has to happen pre-service itself will do. But currently, the 1.5 million Anganwadi teachers and maybe you know a, a couple of lakhs of preschool teachers, uh, they are already there. So how do we get them to start looking at Nivhedage, some of the research researchers? Why is, for instance, reading so important at an early age, right? And what does that bring? Why is storytelling important? Now these are all coming out of researchers, as Arun also was mentioning, right? So uh, these things are the ones that we can start engaging with those who are already in practice. Our colleagues, it could be, it could be anybody else, and that is what is important, uh, even you know, for NEP, because we can't just say that we will not bother about the one and a half million. Is that the right number uh, of uh, uh, Anganwadi teachers across the country? One and a half million, right? So we can't say that we are not going to look there at all. But can we take them all out of the Anganwadis? No. So what is the best that you can do? You can think of a hybrid six month long certificate program. But if somebody has not even had a 12th certificate or a 12th pass, then they may have to struggle a little more. We have to do it a one long diploma, one year long diploma. But it can't be again one year or diploma course. It has to be hybrid. There has to be some bit of online. So these are some of the pragmatic positions that one has to take. And that's what the policy has tried doing. Namaste. Madam, you will share a lot of experiences with, uh, regarding your uh, engaging children, teacher engaging children. So my question is, uh, most of the teachers is trying to follow the, the prescribed timetable. In the same time, they are struggling to engage children in effectively. So whether we need to consider child uh, interest or timetable. So can you suggest, can you provide some suggestions to teachers how they can engage uh, effectively children in more time in activities? Yeah. So I, I don't know if it is about activities or how the day is going to be scheduled. Day, huh? day. So um, we were only looking at how should a day be for a child? You know, not, uh, not from what do I want to teach? We didn't look at it that way when we were designing something for the children. So we looked at it as a child can spend some time inside, so a child needs to spend outside, child needs to learn sometimes formally, child can needs to be left alone informally to learn and provide corners so that you know the child can go explore. So what is it that I understand of a child in terms of uh, how do I provide this environment in such a way that the curiosity in the child is tapped for the day. There is a, a there is scope for the child to play and find out. There is a scope for the child to be outside, scope for the child to be inside. And where I will step in as a teacher and teach, maybe rhymes I need to teach, right? So I will do rhymes, song, whatever, and then I will do circle time. So we looked at it as what are these various components that needs to come together and how do I take it through for the day? It's not like I want to do everything on a given day, right? So it could, now depending on the teacher's capacity, depending on the teacher's imagination, because it needs a stretch of imagination to be able to plan, right? So that is why I said, I think it's very important to know what is it that the child needs? How does a child learn? Then you try to bring in what should a child learn? So can I make sure that some of them are happening through these ways, some of them are happening through this method, some of them, but over the week, somehow, I have managed to cover everything. Even when I was a teacher also, I worked that way. I didn't. But then, while planning is required, uh, one is not trying to say that be very rigid. No, no, no. My God, you know, my agenda was to teach this today. So when you have that flexibility, then you would know over within a three-day, four-day, five-day, however your plan is, that somewhere you have covered it and not missed it. I mean, that's the only way I feel I can respond, rather than say, be very rigid. Planning is required, yeah? But planning is not to restrict you and make you rigid. Yeah? Last question. Yeah. Uh, Madam, please. Am I audible? Ah, thank you. So basically, uh, my uh, I have one uh, observation which you may take into the uh, supplementation and 
may uh, help me whether it can work or not to in teacher development you know i will take example from the europe like uh, till utilitarianism came into existence uh, when pain pleasure brought up into the context of human endeavor there was no concept of uh, feminism there was no concept of speciesism everything was done in the same manner so if we bring that same concept of pain and pleasure into the classroom like if uh, when a student says mera man nahi karta school jane ka so can we think in that manner that uh, we need to look into the pain that a student feel into the classroom like if we can overcome the or if we can bring the idea of feminism speciesism in the society through pain and pleasure uh, in a society can't we do the same thing by bringing pain and pleasure into the classroom as well because when a mother treats her child uh, at at her home uh, by taking into pain and pleasure into context but when a teacher is in the classroom they barely think about pain and pleasure they simply think of discipline and some time they talk of some play kind of thing so i think we may bring reform by contextualizing pain and pleasure more seriously rather than learning literacy numeracy and so on and people of course talk about uh, thing, uh, you know uh, teaching such kind of thing in a uh, pleasureful manner but are they really pleasureful if uh, they those things are really ple pleasureful i do not think that students would would say mera man nahi karta school jane ka so how can we think of such perspective uh, and this is the thing i wanted to say yeah so uh, i don't know what you mean by pain and pleasure uh, what i mean by that, i mean it's not a direct uh, question in that sense uh, what i'm saying is pain and pleasure for whom is my first because as you were asking also i was thinking you know pain and pleasure for whom and man nahi karta hai man nahi karega and it's a child who can actually tell you directly aap aur main nahi keh sakte na that supposing if somebody doesn't want to sit in the seminar we will not say that man nahi kar raha hai you know but a child will say it openly right and how do we take it as a teacher is an important question to ask here right man nahi kar raha hai and the child is openly telling you i am in no mood we have had incidences like that you know where a child uh, didn't want to get into the classroom at all why one child i'll give you a context i don't know if it will directly answer because i don't have a direct answer that way so when we set up one of these schools and i'll tell you also in yadgir when we set up these schools the context of children was this and those children are now in 10 standard i think so i'm telling you some 10 11 years back story when we set up because the context was new for us also right so when we started this school what happened was we used to get uh, regular messages from teachers and principal saying that you know children are just not settling discipline illa makkalige right and they are not sitting down they are not settling they are not listening they don't want to come into the classroom they don't know so then uh, uh, it's not like we were experts or whatever we also want to find out know what is happening so we went there right and i definitely was there so we went to see we understood then many of these children had no you know they were very free in the houses in the way things were so they never really understood the concept of being able to sit in a classroom to learn learning was anyway happening for children how can we say that children don't know anything and only when they come into a classroom they learn right so it was very evident for us that children had that so the context from which they were coming the way their learning was happening the, maybe their uh, house family environment they were bringing was so free you know and they rarely they uh, never made sense why you are asking me to come into the classroom so we moved the classroom outside you get what i'm saying teachers were outside we told the teachers don't go into the classroom and if you think aha dodda building idde nimage it was not like that when we started no initially it was all very small shed and i think to be precise if my memory serves correct i think it was a pesticide huh? yeah it was a pesticide uh, something right so it was a factory like that and we had only two rooms we had only two rooms and very little like the way you are seeing the space that's all the space for children but children wanted to be there so then we asked the question can we bring the classroom outside 
or is classroom only inside you get what i am saying so then the teacher so it had to it was also a mindset of teachers it was a mindset of us it was a mindset of adults to see what is learning how is learning happening what are children picking up how are they understanding what do we do how do we take it really took us more than a month no one can turn around and ask yours as a private school ma'am aap kar sakte hain but the point is not that the point is i personally feel because i've also worked as a teacher i can tell you the space between you and child is yours how you make use of it is up to your imagination because le- learning outcome we are talking about developmentally appropriate practices milestones irutte ella aagbeku andre so how do i make it happen is the question but i will want to make it happen only this way then it's a problem you get what i'm saying so and i think most of the time we are in the trap of this is how it should happen and therefore we feel uh, it's not happening yeah that's the only way i can respond yeah. thank you sarcastic prashnagal kelbodu adre ee charchena informal aagi thagolona mundina adiveshanakke hogbeku nanu ella panelists ge rishi modalgondu rishi illa avaru yado bere innond webinar ge hogbekagittu rishi shailaja aruna thank you very much it was uh, very engaging and sarcastic kalikegalu namge panel nalle kuda nu agide bosha nimgu kuda ade agide anta anusutte so ee panel discussion na mugustivi mundina adiveshana kogana dinesh have any announcements thank you snehitre mundina eradu adiveshanagalu illi matte 